Hi, Nitika. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Morning, Akansha. Hi, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all of you. Okay, so we'll start. All right. I'll mute you all and then we can begin. to study a warm up for today so we will be lifting the feet up a little bit today and so it's like this so let me show it sideways it's like this it's not close to the chest it's a little away right so and when we do that we tap the foot with the opposite hand so one two three four five six seven Eight. Now tap the leg behind. Take the leg, hold it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward tap. One. You can keep the arm over the head. That's also good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Front tap. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four times. One, two, three, four. Back. Two, three, four. Four times for all of you. One, two, three, four. Back. Two, three, Four, twice each. One, two, back, two, forward, two, back, two, forward, two, back, two. You can add a little jump to this. Try that. One, two, back, two, forward, two, back, two. If you don't want to do the jump, you can do it just the normal way. Last time. And release. Bring your hands down, hands to the heart center, feet together. Look at your breathing. Now we'll be breathing in from the nose, breathing out from the nose. Once more. Breathe in from your nose, breathe out from your mouth. Once more. Next, we go for the four and four breathing. Four short breaths in from your nose and then four short breaths out from your mouth. Please start. And relax. Next, we go for Omkara. Today, we do the regular Om. Just five Omkaras. Take a deep inhalation. Om. Oh. 
And then bend forward, touch your toes or the floor. Come back up. If you suffer from back pain, please bend your knees, come back up. Once again, bend back. Start bending forward and touch the floor. Exit. Repeat. Come back up. Inhale, bend back. Bend forward. Exhale. All of you repeat. Arms over the head. Inhale, bend back. And then start bending forward. Bring your hands down towards your feet. Make sure you exhale and then you come back up. Bend your knees if you have a bad back. Inhale, bend back. And release. All right. So today we're doing a reverse class. From the front of your mat with your feet about four to six inches apart. Keep your feet four to six inches apart. Place your hands on your waist. Step back with your right leg. A big stance back. So even when we step back, we maintain that distance between the feet. Okay, so from here, we will be doing a couple of back bends and forward bends. So the first one is with the hands on the waist, just how they are at the moment. Fingers are pointing forward, thumb is at the back. Inhale and bring back, join me. Look up at the ceiling. Simply look up. One, two, three, four. Now slowly start bending forward. And take your chin to the outer edge of your knee. So we're bending towards the left leg. All of you have the left leg in front. Take your face to the outer edge of your left knee. Try keeping both the knees straight here. When you reach down, exhale. And to come back up, soften the knee joint. So you bend the knee just to come back up. That's for the safety of your knee joint. Instead of keeping it straight, bend it. Come back up. And then you straighten it. Repeat once more. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, bend forward. Make sure you completely exit. And now one breathing cycle here. Breathe in one, breathe out one. And come back up with an inhalation. Now we'll be repeating the same forward and back bending. The hand position will be changing now. Keep your hands in the small of your back, fingers pointing down. Thumb and fingers all pointing down in the small of your back. Let's go. Please bend back with me. Inhale, both legs are straight, you're bending back. Then bend forward. Take your chin to the outer edge of your left knee. Just how you did earlier. Exhale, breathe normal. One, two, three, four. Come back up with the knees bent slightly and bend back. Now release and step the back foot forward. You can 
Okay, get the heel off the floor first. Back foot heel is now off the floor. Step it forward. Now we repeat on the other side. All right, so let's go. Feet about four to six inches apart at the front of your mat, hands on your waist. Step back with your left leg. Make sure the stance is wide enough. It should be about one and a half, two meters apart. Now your hands remain on the waist. And you bend back, join me. Look up at the ceiling. Now start bending forward. Take your chin to the outer edge of your left knee, right knee, sorry. Take your chin to the outer edge of your right knee. That's the leg in front. Exhale when you reach there. Come back up, soften the knee or bend the knee. Come back up, straighten the knee, bend back. Now you repeat the same. And when you reach down, exhale. And then one breathing cycle here. Come back up with an inhalation. Now your hands in the small of your back fingers pointing down. Join me, inhale, bend back. Take your chin to the outer edge of the knee. Four breathing cycles, one. Two, three, four. Come back up with an inhalation. Bend back. And release. Step the back leg forward. Place the foot on the toe by lifting the heel up. And then bring that leg forward. And shuffle your feet. You can walk forward and back on your mat. Four steps forward, one, two, three, four, four steps back, four, three, two, one. And now shuffle in place, lift your heel off the floor one at a time. All right, so now all of you will be trying the same what we did just now. Prasadita Parsvakonasana, feet about four to six inches apart. Step back with your right leg. And let me see this. Right leg back. And this time, the arms will go over the head. Keep your upper arms touching the ears. Make sure your shoulders and your pelvis are facing forward. Do not be tilted to the side. Be fully facing forward, your nose pointing ahead. Now bend back and look up. With full control, start bending forward from the waist and take both your hands on either side of the front leg, which is the left leg. Take your hands down in front of the left leg and tilt your chin to the outside of the left knee. Just tilt your chin there. One, two, three, four. Breathe normal. And come back up. Soften the knee joint. Bend the left knee. Come back up. Bend back, complete the movement, and release. Now, step that back leg forward, right leg forward, and repeat the sequence with the left leg stepping back. Left leg, take a big step back with your left leg, very good. Make sure the shoulders and the pelvis are facing forward. Then you inhale, taking your arms up over your head, and bending backwards as you look at the ceiling. Very good. One, feel the stretch in your torso. Two, three, four. Now bend forward, taking your arms down on either side of the front leg. Do not bend the knee if possible. Take your chin down and move the chin to the outer edge of the right knee. The right leg is in front, so tilt the chin to the side. Lean forward to the right side. Five, six, seven, eight. Soften the knee to come back up. Inhale and stretch towards the ceiling. Bend back and complete the movement. Lower the arms and step forward. Great. So now we'll be going forward with Surya Namaskar. 
and today we're doing a modified Surya Namaskar. So we do it in pairs. Make sure you're at the front of your mat. And your feet are together. Arms forward, arms over the head, inhale as you bring back. Keep your elbows straight, look up at the ceiling and then stretch towards the ceiling and go down, taking your hands down and your face towards your knees. Now look forward and take your right leg back. Bring the right knee down on the mat. Allow your hands to leave the floor. And then twist your upper body to the right. Both your arms at shoulder level. Look back at your right fingers. One, two, three, four. Return and put the hands down. Look forward. Step the right leg forward. Exhale. Inhale as you come up, bend back. Return to Samasthiti. Repeat. One, bend back. Inhale. Two, Padhastasana. If your hands cannot reach the floor, that's fine. You can please place them on your shin or on your ankles. Exhale here. Look forward, left leg back. When we step the leg back, make sure your knee is over the ankle. So your right knee is over the right ankle, left knee is on the floor behind you. It's a nice stretch for the front of your thigh. Now let your hands leave the floor and bring them out to the side and twist to the side and look at your left fingers. One, two, three, four. Step forward, turn forward and hands down, eyes forward. Step the back leg forward. Exhale. Inhale as you come up, bend back. Return and repeat. One, now we have the 12th step. One, forward fold. Two, eyes forward, right leg back. Three, you may drop the knee down, chin up. Left leg back, go to down dog with four. Plank five. Knees down, buttocks go slightly back, chin down on the floor. Six. This is Ashtanga Namaskar. Upper body forward. Lift up and up Bhujanga. Only head, chest and shoulders off the floor. Eyes looking up. Curl your toes and go into down dog. Move your face towards the knees and down dog. Lower the crown of your head towards the floor. Now, right leg forward. Left knee on the mat, chin up. Left leg forward. Exhale. Inhale, come up, bend back. And return. Repeat. One. Inhale. Stretch towards the ceiling and go down. Two. Exhale. Eyes looking forward. Three. Left leg back. Chin up. Four. Go to down dog. Complete the exhale in down dog. Five. Inhale. Six. Knees down. Exhale. Chin down. Hold. Seven. Add Pujanga. Half cobra. Legs should be straight. Parallel to each other. Let there be least pressure on the hands. Let your shoulders do the lifting and the holding. Next pose. Down dog. Complete the exhale here. Left leg forward. Chin up. Right leg forward. Head down. Inhale up. And release. Repeat. One. Now we have the shorter version, remember? Inhale. Two. 
Exhale. Three, right leg back. Bring your hands off the floor. And now we twist to the opposite side. So right leg is back. And you'll be twisting. You can bring your hands to the chest like this. Fingers towards each other. Twist to the left. One, two. Try to bring both hands in line with each other. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back forward. Hands down. Step the leg forward. Straighten out the knees. Exhale. Inhale up. Bend back. Return. Repeat on the left. Left leg leaning back. One, two, eyes forward. Three, left leg back. Hands at the chest level. Now we twist to the right this time. Bring both arms in line with each other. Look back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn forward, hands down, step the leg forward, exhale. Inhale as you come up, bend back. Now we have the 12 step. Let's start. One, inhale. Two, exhale. Three, right leg back. You may keep the knee off the floor. Make sure your left knee is over the ankle. So you could adjust the right foot so that the so that you lean back in this way, you get the left knee over the ankle. Next position, down dog. Lower the head down. Plank. Knees down, buttocks back, chin down, position six. Seven, come up into a higher bujanga. Belly button off the floor, eyes looking up. Eight. Down dog, complete exhalation. Nine, right leg forward. Ten, left leg forward. Eleven, arms over the head. Good job. Repeat on the left leg. One, two, three. Knees off the floor, eyes are looking forward. Four. Five. Inhale. Six. Exhale. Chin down, hold. Seven. Or bhujanga, medium bhujanga, belly button off the floor, look up. Legs should be parallel to each other. Eight, down dog. Nine. Left leg forward, 10, right leg forward. Look forward and come up. Bend back, keeping the hands facing each other. And return. All of you repeat. Let me see this. One, inhale. Two, forward fold. Three, right leg back, drop the knee down. Let your hands leave the floor. Bring your hands to the chest position, fingertips touching, and twist your upper body to the left. Look back at your left fingers. One, two, three, both hands should be lined with each other. Four, five, six, everybody bring the Right hand little forward, seven, eight. Turn back, turn forward, I mean. Turn forward and hands on the floor and step the right leg forward. Exhale and then look forward and come up as you inhale. Very good. Now repeat on the other leg. Come to Samasthiti and repeat. One, lean back, inhale. Two, when you reach down, that's when you Exhale. Look forward, left leg back, inhale. And look forward, you may bring your hands on your waist and then come here. Now twist to the right. Twist your upper body to the right. Bring both your hands in line with each other. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, left hand little forward, Nitika. Seven, yeah, better. Eight, turn forward, hands down, hands down on either side of the front leg. Bring the back leg forward, complete the sequence. Exhale here and come up to standing as you inhale. Awesome. Now you have the 12 step, all of you. Let me see this also. One, inhale up. Two, forward fold, Padahastasana, reach down, exhale. Look forward, right leg back, inhale. Knee can be off the floor. Left leg back and go to down dog, inverted B, exhale. Now lower the pelvis down, come to plank, looking forward, inhale. Drop your knees down, take your buttocks slightly back and bring the chin forward between the hands. Exhale, hold. <coughs> Inhale up. Come to the highest Pujanga now. Your belly button and the lower abs off the floor. Face looking up. One, two, three, four. Curl your toes and lift into down dog. Exhale. Now look forward and your right leg forward, inhale. Good. Left leg forward, face to the knees, exhale. Inhale, come up, bend back, release. Repeat, one, inhale, two, forward fold, Look forward, left leg back, inhale, right leg back, down dog, exhale. Plank, lower the pelvis down, look forward, inhale, legs should be straight, feet strong. Now drop your knees down and take your buttocks slightly back, bring your chin down between your hands, exhale, hold. From here, lift up into the highest Bujanga. Keep your elbows straight and by your side, below the shoulders, basically chin up. One, two, three, four. Very good. Curl toes and lift into down dog once again. Last time. Exhale fully. Now look forward and bring your left leg forward. Inhale. Eyes forward. Right leg forward. Exhale. Face to the knees. Come up with your knees straight or bent and bend back and release bring your hands to the heart center very good now you can sit down on your mat i'm just going to switch off the light because we have lovely sunlight now Adjust your camera in such a way that I can see you on your mat. So you can sit in Supasan. If you want to try Siddhasan, then first you stretch your legs out. Then you fold your left knee. So I'll be showing with my right leg because I'm mirroring you. So all of you hold your left knee. Take your heel close to the perineum. And then you fold your right leg and tuck your toes between the thigh and the calf. Tuck your right toes between the thigh and the calf of the left leg and then you reach with your hand and pull the left foot also upwards. So now both the toes are between the thigh and the calf of the opposite leg. Hand mudra, thumb and index touching and the other finger also curled. This is Chinmay mudra. Palms facing up on your knees or your thighs. Back straight, spine stretched upwards. You may lean slightly forward by two or three degrees and then keep the abdomen in. Two 
Watch your breath. When you breathe in, know that you're breathing in. When you breathe out, know that you're breathing out. Breathe with full awareness. slowly bring your awareness back. Next, we'll be going with one pranayam today. And what I plan for today is ujjayi. So you make a snoring sound as you inhale and as you exhale. The tongue will be, tip of the tongue will be touching the back of the upper teeth. Mouth will be closed. Both inhalation and exhalation will happen from the nose. So let's get the position right first. Back straight. Upper body leaning forward by two or three degrees. Stomach slightly in. Roll the tongue. Half fold the tongue so that touch the tip of the tongue to the back of the upper teeth. Mouth closed. Inhale with the sound. Exhale with the same sound. And repeat nine times, starting now, please start. Take deep breaths. Let it sound like labored breathing. Make sure you exhale long and equally deep. Two more to go for all of you. Deepest inhalation, mouth will be remaining closed, longest exhalation, one last time. And release. Stretch your legs forward. Release the sitting posture first and stretch your legs forward. Keep your hands by your side, palms flat on the floor and try to sit upright. This is the Dandasana sitting position. Legs are straight. Now take your arms up. So first bring them to the sides, raise them to the shoulder level. Floor, and then turn the palm upward and take the arms up. Stretch towards the ceiling, sit up taller, and then turn the palms forward. One deep inhalation here, and then you bend forward. Look at your knees, push your lower back forward. Breathe one, 
two, fully exhale, come back up with an inhalation. All of you repeat, do not lower the arms, stretch towards the ceiling, all of you, and start bending forward. Let me see this. You can look towards your knees. Push your lower back forward. Feel the stretch in your back muscles. Also the back of your buttocks and your thighs. This is a posterior body stretch and a contraction to the abdominal areas. It's good for digestion. And now you can come back up. Take your arms over your head, inhale, and lower the arms sideways. Same way how you came up, turn the palm to the floor at the shoulder level and lower the arms fully down. Great. Now you can lie down on your back. Eyes closed, take a short rest. Slowly bring your awareness back. Inhale and take your arms over your head. Take your arms over your head. Bring your feet together also. Now, arms will stay over the head. Raise your right leg up to 90 degrees. Take it up straight, 90 degrees. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the leg down. Slowly lower the leg down. Repeat. Inhale, right leg up. Same leg. Exhale, right leg down. Once more, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. Point the toes away as you lower the leg down. Now repeat three times with the left leg. Inhale, left up. Exhale, left down. Inhale, left up. As you exhale, point the toes down, come down, bring the leg down. Once more. Inhale up, exhale down. Now you'll be trying to do both legs together. If, in case you can't do both legs, then do one at a time. So we'll do three times both legs up. Let's go. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, legs down. Slowly go down. Inhale, legs up. Exhale down. Once more. Very slowly. Inhale up. Exhale down. And release. Bring your hands by your sides. And relax. Keep the feet slightly apart. Palms to the ceiling. Take a short break. Now, bring your feet together. And lie down on your stomach.
hand stretch forward, arm stretch forward, and you put it on the mat. Feet together. Now bring your hands by your side. And make a fist with your hands. Thumb in, fingers on top. And tuck your hands below your thighs. Your closed fist, palm, portion touching the thighs. Chin on the mat for everybody. And inhale and right leg off the floor. Lift the right leg up straight, toes pointing away from you. Do not bend the knee. Hold. Breathe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The shalavasan, lower the leg down. Switch the leg. Inhale, left leg up and keep it up for eight counts. Shalabhasana is good for toning the thighs and the buttocks. And it also helps with the lower back pain and helps with constipation as well. Slowly lower the leg down, pointing the toes away. Now you can try both legs or you can do single leg option, whichever is convenient. Come up with an inhalation. Knees should be straight and clearly off the floor. Breathing should be normal. And hold this for 16 pounds so that if you're doing single leg, you get 8 pounds on each leg. Thighs clearly off the floor. Make the effort. And once you're done with both legs or double leg option, then you can release. Relax. Release the hands from below the thighs. And let your hands remain by your sides. Palms facing the ceiling. Knuck back of the hand and knuckles on the floor. Now you'll be going for a variation of Shalabhasana itself. So where you lift the upper body and the legs off the floor. So inhale and lift legs, upper body, both off the floor. Feet will remain together. Let the knees be clearly off the floor. Good. Look forward. Allow your hands to leave the floor now slightly. Let your hands leave the floor. Very good. Stay there. Breathing normal. One, two, three, four, five. Be fully present in the moment. Six, release. So this is a very good contraction for the back muscles and it stretches the chest and also stretches the entire anterior body because the upper body lift. And you also feel a stretch in your quadricep, a contraction in the hamstring and the buttocks. Okay, now you can be there for some time. Rest your head on your right cheek, hands by the side of your head. Close your eyes. And slowly bring your awareness back. Now, you can lie down on your back. Please lie down on your back again, roll on your back. Palms by your side. Eyes closed. Inhale and take your arms over your head. Exhale. Be there. 
Now lift both your legs up with an inhalation and take them to 90 degrees. Hold the legs together. And stay there. Breathe normal. Four counts with the arms over the head. This is Ardhalasan. Breathe normal. Allow your lower back to sink into the floor. Now bring your hands by your side. Remain there. Hands come by the side. Maintain the legs where they are. At 90 degrees. Breathe normal. One, two, Three, keep on breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let your tailbone push into the floor. The spine is settling into the floor. So whenever we lift the legs up, the, we eliminate the curve in the lower back. Normally there's a curve when you're standing or sitting. There's a curve in your lower back. By lifting the legs up, we eliminate the curve. Slowly and gently, lower the legs down. One, two, three, four, point your toes away, five, six, seven, eight. And release, relax. Eyes closed. And Now you can fold your knees. And with your right hand, hold your right ankle. So bring the heels closer to the buttocks to do this. With the right, hold the right. With the left, hold the left. Get a nice grip. And then you'll be lifting your pelvis off the floor. Please lift. Be there. Lift. Breathe normal, one, two, three, four. Lift higher. Be there, one, two, three, four. Maintain. Breathe normal as you maintain the hold. Breathe. Try keeping the knees parallel to each other. Good. So the good pointer is to place the knees, knees or maintain the knees over the ankles. All right. So a few more breathing cycles here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And see if you can leave the hands from the ankle and place them below the lower back. So you fold the forearm towards you, place the palm below the lower back and lift a little better. See if you can do that. The elbow should be straight. Elbow to the forearm or the elbow to the wrist portion of the arm should be straight. Good, Sangeeta. Very good. You can do better. Walk your elbows into the mat, Sangeeta. Much better. Okay. So, ideally, elbow to the this should be straight, but it's a good attempt. And now you can lower your pelvis down and stretch the legs out and relax. Eyes closed. Next, we'll be going for Shavasana today. Keep your feet to the edges of your mat. Palms to the ceiling. It's a Shavasana resting position. Feel relaxed on your back. Palms are to the ceiling. Right toes clock to the right side, left to the left.
bring your awareness to your feet and relax your feet. Loosen the toes. And relax them. Loosen the top of the foot. And relax. Relax the soles of your feet. Loosen the ankle joint. And relax. Loosen your calf muscle, relax. Loosen the knee joint and relax. Relax and Rest your thighs. Loosen and relax the hip joint. Loosen the pelvis. Relax. Loosen the entire vertebral column from the tip of the tailbone, the back of the neck, being relaxed. Loosen the shoulder joint, relax. Loosen the elbow joint. Loosen the elbows and relax. Loosen the wrist, the fingers and the palm and relax. Loosen your neck and relax. Slowly bring your awareness to the back of your neck and the crown of your head. Loosen your forehead, your facial muscles, and your jawline.
slowly and gently bring your awareness back. Wriggle your toes and your fingers. Inhale and bring your feet together and your arms by your side. Hold your left leg. Take your right arm over your head. And lie down, turn on your right and lie down on your right. Keeping the left leg on top of the right leg. So both the legs are straight and stay there. Feel the weight of the entire left leg on your right leg. Now push the floor, bring your hand, left hand in front of your chest and push the floor with both your hands and come up to sitting. Bring your palms together and drop your palms. Place them on your eyes. Once again, you may drop your palms. And now place them wherever you feel you have any stiffness or pain. You could place them on your shoulders or your arms, elbows, forearms, thighs, or your knees, or on your feet. Now, we come to the end of the session. Thank you so much for attending today. And I shall see you at the next class. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Sorry, you're not there? On Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, we're not there because we're going to drop our daughter, no? All right. We're going to, we're going to Chennai, yeah. Okay, so you want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we're leaving, actually. Oh, so, okay. We're leaving early. All right, yeah. all right. So I'll coordinate yeah. with others and decide the date. Oh. All right? Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.